Hi, I'm Nick from the training team. This is a quick overview of how to fit the new uh, freewheeling hubs and the new heavy duty multi-fit wheel that's going to be supplied. You will get proper training on this when it's rolled out, so this is just a quick introduction. First things first is fitting the uh, standard hub to the casualty vehicle, so lining up the holes as normal. Now on this car, it has got the domed wheel nuts, wheel bolts, so it's a dome type, so we're going to have to use the collars. And whenever you use these collars, obviously you must check to make sure you've got a full five turns of thread all the way down. So fit all five. Now the important thing at this stage is now, this is soon going to be obscured by the freewheeling hub. So what I've got to do first of all is torque these up. It's a three stage operation, so we torque this hub up first, fit the freewheeling hub, torque that up, and then finally torque the multi-fit wheel at the end. Okay, that's done. So now we fit the freewheeling hub with these holes onto these, lining up there and then this is a prototype wheel so these are 18 mil so uh, nuts at the moment on the rollout these are going to be changed to 19 mil so they will also be able to be used with your new DeWalt gun easiest way to do it is as I am pop the nut into the end of the socket Once again, torque wrench out, so we've done stage one, we've torqued those. Stage two, the centre ones needed to be manufacturer specific as normal with the multi-fit wheel. These outer ones now are 100 newton metres, the same as the wheel itself. Now that's on, nice and secure. The last job is the multi-fit wheel. Okay, so there's two different sets of holes. Get the right ones, which are the inner ones. And now, unlike the old multi-fit wheel, or the smaller one, these are now flat nuts. So, much more suitable for use with the DeWalt gun. We've got no problem in using that now. Always start them by hand though. Never put the nuts into the end of the gun and uh, try and zip them on because that can damage the threads. And these will all be 19mm now the same. The gun's on position one to tighten them up. Okay, once the wheel's on, it's the usual check for clearance, so looking for any fouling of brake calibers, etc. And we're ready to drop down. On this car now, in this setup, the, the, the other wheel's on the floor, okay, uh, and this wheel's raised. So the handbrake's on, we're safe to lower it down. At the roadside, when you fit two of these, obviously we've, you know, there's an issue of the vehicle moving away. So that'll get covered on your training, that's all, that's all taken care of. On the other side of the car would be your conventional multi-fit wheel that you've had for a while now. But we are going to give you these uh, same nuts as these, so they're much more durable and they can be used with the DeWalt gun. So let's drop it down and do the final torque of the wheel nuts. That's that side done.